Rosebud versus Turbo Torque. Which do you think is better? Are you gonna be able to hear any of that? The Easy Turbo Torch or the Rosebud? Which do you think is better? I'm gonna compare the two most popular brazing techniques and see which one comes out on top. The Rosebud and the Easy Turbo Torch. The Easy Turbo Torch is a great option for beginners. It's easy to use and produces a constant flame. Plus, it's affordable and widely available. But if you're looking for more control and precision, the Rosebud might be the way to go. The Rosebud has a higher heat output and allows for more fine tuning of the flame. It's perfect for more experienced braze artists like myself. So whether you're a beginner or a pro, the Rosebud or the Easy Turbo Torch has you covered. Happy brazing and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks on brazing and plumbing. So as you can see, it's getting hot in here. Man, we got the flames going, I love this. Talking about brazing, now brazing is something that I've done for a long time. I actually used to work for a fire protection company and we literally used a T drill. We would drill a hole in the main, pull a T out, have our piece cut, ready to go in there, normally on top of a scissor lift. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and prep this, then I'm gonna show you how to use a turbo torch and how to use a rosebud. So, Let's get this thing cleaned up and ready to go. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna reach down in the drawer, get my PPE. Of course, I'm gonna have my safety glasses and I'm gonna get some gloves on because I'm brazing today. Now, I normally wear latex gloves for soldering, probably jersey gloves, just in case I need to, just I need to wipe the joint a little bit. But today, since we're brazing, I'm going leather gloves. I'm gonna take this apart and go ahead. Now, some people will tell you, you don't have to clean anything to braze it. I like to clean it just because I don't want the impurities. I know that the torch is hot. The torch is gonna clean a lot of it out. But me personally, I wanna know that I've got it good and clean. That way there are no impurities at all down inside of there. As you can see, these were clean. I'm cleaning them a little bit more. I wanna make sure that I can see good clean copper where I'm brazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in the stand so it's nice and secure. All right, so first we're gonna use the turbo torch. And I'll use the turbo torch on the left, use the rosebud on the right. You can use a rosebud, you can also use a brazing tip. We've done that before. But today I'm just gonna show you the turbo torch and the rosebud and see the difference in them. If I've got seal floss, and this seal floss has been around here for a while, I like to go ahead and just clean it up. I'm taking any oxidation off of it. I have seen some before that is green. And I've seen people use it and it leaves impurities in the, the braze. So I just like to brush it off, get it good and cleaned up. That way I know I'm not putting any trash down in my joint. All right, nice and clean, nothing on it. Okay, so this one here I capped a little bit. This one here I didn't as much. Now, if I was doing a med gas joint, I'd have gone a little hotter, I'd have gone a little deeper, 
for MedGas, you need full penetration, especially for the state exam. So that's a turbo torch. That went pretty quick and easy. The thing I like about this, look, you get the right size tip, you turn it on, you're ready to go. Your bottle of acetylene it is gonna last you a good long time. You're gonna be able to get a lot of joints out of this. You don't wanna oversize your tip. You don't wanna just burn the heck out of it. Don't get me wrong, I got it hot enough to braise and it braises very easy. You gotta have a little more control of the rosebud because you can adjust your tip, adjust your flame. Turbo torch, it's just you get the flame to the size tip that you have. You don't wanna regulate it down. A lot of plumbers try to turn it down. Whenever you get down like that, you're gonna start burning up your tip. Your tip will actually start glowing red. You don't ever wanna do that, it's not good for it. Some people like the long feather flame. I wanna just find real tight where I can see each individual one. Now this tip is hot, so I'm gonna keep my heat back a little bit. Now there's a lot more heat to control with this, but you can make your flame a lot hotter. You can turn it down and make it a little bit cooler. Now we're having problems with the regulator, so as soon as I got a good flame, I just went ahead and went. Now normally I may not cool a joint like this down out in the field. There's no point in it unless you're just wanting to move on to something else. But I wanted to go ahead and cool these down just to show them to you. Now, if this was med gas, I'd have nitrogen purging in there. I wouldn't have to worry about any oxidation on the inside. I just wanted to show you the difference in a turbo torch and a rosebud. Now, like I said, could have got a brazing tip out too, gone a little slower, but when you're out in the field and you're making 100, 200 braze joints a day, when we were in the scissor lifts, we'd have an oxygen acetylene bottle strapped in there, moving around, doing joints up in a 20, 30 foot ceiling. And you just, you're trying to get as many done as you can in a day. Man, there's gonna be a hundred people in here, blow me up on the way that I braise. I get it too hot, I cap it. I did this, I did that. Guys, this is the way I was taught to braise and I don't have leaks. So you tell me what you think, good, bad, or ugly. The good thing is, now you know the difference between a turbo torch and a rosebud. And if you like this video, you're definitely gonna like the next one.